What is going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to the Car 5 Podcast. I am your host, Joshua. I'm actually very excited for today's episode, for episode number 12, uh, because we're actually going to be discussing the brand new Lamborghini Huracan Evo. Tufio Mache Nele Cosa. So what's new with the brand new Huracan Evo? Well, there's actually a lot. So we're going to break this episode down into four quick sections. We're going to talk about the exterior, the interior, aerodynamics, and engine and performance changes. Like I said, there's quite a lot to tell. So we're going to start things right off with exterior changes. Lamborghini has added numerous changes that are actually borrowed from other Lamborghini models, which is pretty cool. You're going to see the famous Y-shaped styling that is going to be featured from the absolutely legendary Countach. And you're going to see this styling in the Huracan's front grille. You're going to see these pretty wicked side air ducts on the Huracan Evo that are inspired directly from the Murcielago. You're also going to see higher exhaust tailpipes that are borrowed directly from the Huracan Performante and the Avancador SVJ. You're also going to see new 20-inch wheels and add personum colors that are now going to be available for Huracan Evo customers for further customization. Of course, for all these changes, we're going to have photos for you on our Instagram, our Facebook, and our brand new YouTube channel. We'll get to that very, very shortly. Moving right along, we're going to get into the interior changes. And Lamborghini has added a pretty cool, actually, um, new, very sleek looking 8.4 inch touchscreen infotainment system for display and usage for the driver. In fact, there's actually a whole new system in the car called HMI, which stands for Human Machine Interface, as Lamborghini has dubbed it. And that's going to be for all of your interior controls. Anything you want to do in the car, it's this brand new HMI system Lamborghini has implemented. And also, finally, um, huge feature added to the car, which is a feature that's actually desired in quite expensive cars, supercars, hypercars, sports cars. And what that feature is, is two cameras have been added to improve driving and parking which is going to be great for tight-fitting parking spots and hard-to-see areas because you absolutely don't want to bump anything uh, considering the type of car you have. You don't want to scratch it either. So great for vision, great for parking, and hard-to-see areas. Moving directly on to aerodynamic changes to the car. Uh, A brand-new front splitter is going to assist the Huracan Evo in creating an actually dual airway path that's going to travel directly underneath the Huracan's low body. You're going to see flaps that are featured on the new Evo that amazingly are going to offer five times higher of an aerodynamic load compared to the previous Huracan range models. That's a huge improvement, 5X just from one change. That's absolutely massive. And finally, one of my personal favorite changes, you're going to have an all new design spoiler that In my opinion, (laughs) it's extremely sexy. It looks so good. It's going to channel the air ever so slightly for extra downforce. It's not this crazy big wing. It's almost fitted to the car, honestly, but it's so sleek. And it it just looks good. Of course, I'll have all those photos for you guys to check out. Last but not least, we're going to move on to engine and performance. You're going to have the same 5.2 liter V10 that's in the other Huracan models, though the engine in the Evo has been re-engineered according to our Italian friends with the Raging Bull logo. The Evo is now going to push a whopping 631 horsepower, which is going to allow the car to go from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and a top speed of over 202 miles per hour. These numbers are possible due to better refined uh, fluid dynamics in both the exhaust and the aspiration from the car. You're going to have more horsepower, obviously, and you're going to have a brand new lightweight exhaust system and an enhanced seven speed dual clutch system meant to result in absolute maximum performance. So, yeah, the new Evo is pretty much, uh, we'll call it scrum diddly umptious. This thing's amazing, guys. I'm absolutely in love. I, I can't imagine you guys would wouldn't fall in love as well. Definitely, um, if you have the funds and the finances and the ability to do so, snatch one of these up while you can. So 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's actually it. That's going to conclude uh, episode number 12 about the brand new Huracan Evo and all of its changes. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, which is the Car 5 Podcast. Like on Facebook, which is the Car 5 Podcast. And now, something we're very proud of, you can check out our brand new YouTube channel, something we've been working very hard on. So if you don't catch us on uh, the podcast on Anchor or any of our other platforms around, you can check us out on YouTube which is the Car 5 Podcast. We're going to have all the videos and episodes there. For any questions you may have, please, please, please feel free to send me an email, which is info at car5podcast.com. More than happy to engage with anyone and everyone. I can't wait to talk to everybody. Don't forget to tune in March 16th for the next episode, which is going to be episode 13 featuring the 2020 GT500. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone, and please remember to drive safe. Thank you. Thank you.